This is Jason Spangler with Wagner Meters, and as you can imagine, daily, monthly, yearly, we get a ton of questions, whether they're in regards to concrete in general and how it dries or how to measure the moisture in it, or about our Rapid RH product line specifically. So what we decided to do is break down a few different videos with, with some of the, the different types of questions that we get on a frequent basis. How do you find out how thick a concrete slab is if it's not written in the specs? Well, for one, if it's new construction, it should be in the specs. Uh, if for some reason it's not, I would say that the general contractor should know because he's the one that had to have the concrete uh, contractor actually pour the slab. Um, if all else fails, if you're talking about that, or with older slabs where we're talking rehab, there's a lot of times where there's trenching done where you can actually see how thick it is if they're having to readjust plumbing. And if all else fails, I will say there are people out in the field right now that are actually in a few select locations, not turning the slab into Swiss cheese, but turning uh, a few of those select locations. They're taking smaller diameter drill bits and they're very carefully drilling through the concrete and using some type of a wire J-hook to be able to see what the thickness of that, that slab is. With elevated floors poured in steel pan decking, is there any concern over the high areas versus the low areas? I have to tell you, the ASTM standards totally 100% silent on this. Uh, I think that they're looking at it to try to come up with a more uh, visual way for people to be able to take these readings, but right now there's two ways that are being done out in the field. One is you can have a very inexpensive metal detector like this. You can buy it at Home Depot. You can buy it at Lowe's or a big box store, anything like that. It's usually about 60 to 70 bucks. And what you can do is use this like you would, much like you would, a stud finder in a wall. And you would take it and you would scan it across the concrete. It's good enough that it will actually penetrate the concrete and pick up the high parts of the metal, but not the low parts of the metal. So you can use this to scan across, scan one high spot, scan across, get the other high spot, and then drill in the middle. That's going to be your deepest part. So you're going to go 40% of what that deepest section is. Another way that there are people out there in the field doing it is they're doing an effective thickness calculation. Sometimes that tends to be a little bit more cumbersome and there really isn't a lot of, uh, if you will say, uh, absolute empirical evidence about it. Um, so that's kind of one of the things that the ASTM committee is looking at potentially using in the future once they have uh, further testing done. One of the most frequent questions we get around here is whether or not I truly wear those hideous orange shoes. And as you can see by the looks of them, I wear them quite often. This is Jason Spangler, signing off.